Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of the Daily Shave. I'm Melvin. Today we're going with Cluster Fig. It's got notes of green fig, lemon, apple, violet, amber, orange blossom, and jasmine. And I believe this is their Excelsior base. So, um, I squeezed out my brush here. Um, let's get to loading. This new Excelsior base loads relatively pretty easy. So, should have no problems there. 99% of the time, with Barrister and Man products, it's not even, it's, it's not a question of performance with their soaps. It's a question of whether you like the ascents or not, because they're... They're known in the business of, of real, unique, and uh, what's the right word I'm looking for? Um, very weird, not weird, elegant scents, if you will. Distinguished, I don't know what other word to use. Very unique sense. So, this smells great. I tell you right now, I can get the I get the fig, get the violet, the jasmine. I'm not getting any apple. I don't know. My nose weird, I guess. That's another thing with Barrister and Man, they don't make straight up scents that you can just, you know, they don't have just like a straight up coconut scent or something like that. They're always well blended, exquisite scents. My brush for today is a brush I got off of eBay by a guy named Magic Fricks. And the knot I installed myself, it's a... 30 millimeter two band, the golden nib knot. Back when the golden nib used to put out some of the some of the best knots in the business. I'm talking about maybe I don't know, maybe six years ago or something. But this is a 30 millimeter, and it holds soap like crazy. And with the new Excelsior base, you don't really have to load that that much, but we always do anyway. As you can see, you get a rich lather right away. And the scent on this, if you like fruity scents, then this is for you. The scent is really nice for me, but as with all scents, as with all scents, that's purely subjective. And as you can see, I got a lather with this right away, and I must have loaded for maybe 20 seconds. If that long. So for today's razor, I'm not going with anything crazy. This is a, a DE89 head with a Gillette Platinum blade that's been used, I don't know, maybe three or four times. The handle is a sterling handle. I believe it's called Fort Worth. They, they no longer make it. DE89 heads, they always seem to compare with the McCord 34C. Um, 
I can see why, because that's that's um both companies, probably both companies, um most sold razor. If I had to take a guess, if not most sold, um. Definitely most talked about. I think every wet shaver in the world has a McCore 34C in their collection. And or a, a DE89 head. So getting back to the scent on this, it's fruity, but it's an elegant fruitiness. It's not a, a playful kind of pineapple um, fruity scent. It's a it's a it's a genuine uh, a genuinely adult fruit scent. If that makes any sense. I love it. I'm a big, big Barrister and Man fan. I have probably all of their soaps. And I mean all of their soaps. They, they, they might, there might be one or two that I don't like. I don't have. You know what? There is. Like, there is one, maybe one or two that I don't have. Because the sense is just not for me. But not, not much. For the most part, I have all of Barrister and Men's stuff, even their earlier white label stuff. But this scent is, is really nice. And like I said, when, when you talk about performance with Barrister and Men, they're always up there with the top artisans for a reason. Um, their soaps are always top tier soaps so it's just a question of scent with 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 Paris Durham, man not not definitely not performance so we're going in for pass number two Brush definitely holds. A lot of lava, that's for sure. You know how I, what I do to pick my brushes, kind of crazy, but works for me. I, I pick the soap I'm going to use first, and then I try to match the brush with the soap purple green you know works for me so everybody has a way of rationalizing what they're going to use pass number two Great slickness. Post shave feel on this soap is incredible. You really, really can never go wrong with any of Barrister and Man's um, soaps. Soaps, aftershaves. EDTs.
But, like I said, the scents are not for everybody. They make some scents that not all guys would agree with. I always get a great shade from the old razors. I guess since when when you first start out, these are the razors that you pick up. So these are the ones that you you tend to get the most familiar with first. Because you have them for the longest. And believe it or not, look, take a look. That's a beautiful, beautiful handle. Raise a, a head you can never go wrong with. Tried and true. And a super unique handle by a great company. So how can you go wrong? <coughs> Pass number three coming up. Just gonna try to clean up my neck a little bit. Look how much soap is in. How much soap is in there? I'll tell you, barrister man. Never can go wrong. Look at that. Look at the peaks on that. Phenomenal. Absolutely great soap. And I got and that that was from loading for that was from loading for 20 seconds. Trying not to apply too much pressure. My last couple of shaves I've been been nicking myself pretty pretty bad. A couple of pimples don't want to go away. But that's it. Let me just rinse off my face. Give me one second. Oh, that was a great shave. Still feel. A little bit of the residual slickness on my face. Oh. Great. No weepers. Very good. All right, we're gonna go with the matching aftershave. Like I always say, shake it up. Even if it doesn't look like it needs to be shaked, because this is, doesn't look like there's no sediments in there, um, I still always shake my aftershaves because they have essential oils in them and witch hazels and, see this one has witch hazels and essential oils and uh, all kind of other little goodies. So, even though it doesn't look like it, it needs to be shaken.
This actually smells. Mm, you definitely get more aroma out of the aftershave than the soap. And this is a little bit more, like I said, it's a fruity scent, but it's a manly fruity scent. It's not the kind of, very elegant. You can wear this to go out to dinner. You can wear this to go out to dinner and it smells just like perfumey. Um, Good stuff. I like it. So, to recap here, we went with um, Barrister Man plus the fig. I used uh, a Magic Fricks. You can find this guy on um, eBay on the Magic. Just probably type in custom brushes or something like that. And. Uh, DE89 head with a Sterling Soap Company Fort Worth handle. Um, and that's it, boys and girls. Thank you for joining me for another edition of the Daily Shave. As always, I greatly appreciate it. I showed you the other Daily Shavers. Hope everyone so far is having a great holiday season. And uh, God bless. Again, thanks for joining us. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.